I can hear you now. Yes. Oh, perfect. What did you have to click? Did you click on something? No, I just uh, plugged in my um, headset. That's what it was. Gotcha. Okay. I think the, vo uh, the volume is going to my headset. Perfect. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good, good. Where, where are you? Where are you calling from? Now I. What what country uh, are you this in? This is Mississauga, Toronto. Oh, you're in Toronto. Uh, Canada. Canada, right? Oh, good, good, good. Great yeah. to connect with you. Thank you for reaching out. Oh, I've been following your videos. You know, really love them. Nobody kind of makes videos so simple like you make them. I thank you so much. And how do I pronounce your beautiful name? How do I say it? Uh, it's uh, it's Raman. R A M A N. Raman. 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 Beautiful. 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 Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. I I yeah. just. I, I, I mean, I started putting videos on YouTube, you know, back in 2017, just to, just to put them up. Nothing, nothing, you know, I didn't expect anything out of it. I, I just started, you know, helping a lot of business owners and helping a lot of uh, real estate agents with, with social media. So I just started talking about it, you know, on video. And before you know it, you know, people started finding me on YouTube and more people started subscribing. And then I finally you know, learned how to, how to upload videos the right way and how to be more consistent. And then now, you know, people from all over the, all over the world are finding me. So I'm just very humbled by it, Raman. So thank you so much for, for reaching out. Yeah, they're really good, you know. Yeah. Thank but, you. What? Oh, you're most welcome. When I'm watching videos uh, from other people, you know, at, right at the point where I need information, they kind of cut out that information, you know, but the, uh, your video takes you to the end. Oh, thank you so much. And how can I help you? What are you, <laughs> what are you working that's on That's why now? I'm liking your videos. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm humbled and uh, I appreciate what you. What I'm working, I, I'm, not, I'm not in real estate. Uh, okay, yeah. yeah, anything. Oh, you're welcome. So I'm not in real estate, uh, David. I'm working on uh, Facebook ads because I am connected to Enagic, if you have heard of them, the Can Kangen Water. It's like an affiliate oh, yeah. marketing. Oh, yeah. So uh, we were trained of all. Yeah, so, so, but I feel my ads, they are not going anywhere, you know, like my team members, they get uh, like, a good response or mm -hmm. I have tried video ads, I have tried image ads, I have started kind of warming up my page and engagement and traffic ad, but they are not going anywhere. I feel that I'm just spending money, you know, and the team yeah. members that I have, they will not like to share what they are doing, you know, they just kind of give the general information, okay, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. So I started following your videos and I like the way how you teach uh, to duplicate the campaign or duplicate the ad set or duplicate the ad level. Mm -hmm. So I started following that. But when I duplicate the ad set, I'm charged three or four times. Like my, uh, my budget is not distributed. I start getting charged. If I, my budget is $20, then I start getting charged 20 times four. Yes. Yes, you don't want to do that. So as you, as you go and set up the first ad, no. rather than rather than doing twenty dollars per day, mm -hmm. if you're planning on doing four ad sets, then mm -hmm. the first ad you're going to set up at five dollars mm -hmm. a day, and so you're going to do five dollars a day for okay. the first ad, and then you're going to you're going to duplicate that. And so now, now we have four different ad sets spending twenty dollars a day, total. You get it, five dollars each. Ah, okay, okay. I thought I should. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I yeah. get you now. Okay. So what I was doing it, I was doing twenty dollars, and then I wanted to split twenty dollars into four locations. Yes. Yeah, so now you're gonna spend eighty dollars a day. Yeah, I don't want that. I can't yes. afford that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the yeah. that's what you want to do is is make sure that the first ad set is is five dollars, mm -hmm. and then and okay. then duplicate that as many times as you want, you know, four, three more times to make a total of four, and there goes your your twenty dollars. But mm -hmm. what I what I also you know can help you with as far as just the 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 objective, a lot of people, you know, they they want they for example they want a lead right they're trying to they're trying to capture a lead. 
but I, I truly believe that a lot of people start with the wrong objective. So are you, are you choosing the correct objective? Like, what do you, what do you, what objective are you choosing over here? Um, so I did the traffic ad for 15 days and then I did the engagement ad for 15 days. And I also did the like campaign for uh, 15 days. That was what was in our training. And then I did, now I am at the conversion ads. Perfect. Perfect. So what you, what you could have done if, 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 if capturing leads is the goal and if you have a landing page, what you could have done is rather than traffic, I do have a landing. You do? Okay, perfect. So then rather than yeah, traffic yeah, yeah. and rather than engagement, you could have went straight into conversions. So oh, okay. that would have saved you 15 days. That would have saved you a lot of money. Um, you would have started capturing leads right away. If you would have, if you would have just went straight to conversions. Right. Yes. Now, now with conversions, your custom conversion has to set be set up for sure. Like, are you, you're, you're, it, it, did you set up the custom conversion? No. Okay. So that's the reason. So the first step when it comes to, well, first of all, the first step is, is obviously installing the pixel, right? But the pixel has to be on both pages. So for example, let's say, let's say you have your landing page, right? Let's just say, let's use this one as an example. We're running a Facebook ad and we're taking them to a landing page. This is our landing page. So the Facebook pixel obviously, right. you know, is on the landing page, which you're, which you know about, but the Facebook pixel also has to be on the no, thing. My page. pixel is on the welcome page. On the yeah. Which, which yeah is, so which my is pixel page, right? is only on the thank you page not on the landing page okay you you definitely no, no, want no. it here so when they click onto the landing page they are okay go ahead tell me tell me i'll be quiet thank you no 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 <laughs> tell me go ahead i want to know what you're thinking okay so, so I can correct it. okay so Okay, so when uh, when through my ad, when the custom, when people they click on learn more, they are taking to the landing page. Yes. When they click on to the landing page, they enter their name and their email, and mm -hmm. then they are taken to the thank you page. Yes. So the thank you page has a pixel, but the landing page doesn't have a pixel. Okay, you want them on 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 both. So you want the pixel on the okay. landing page as well. Uh -huh. Okay. And, and the re and the reason for it is because. As people see your Facebook ad and as, mm -hmm. as they're, you know, just scrolling through and all of a sudden, you know, they come across your ad and let's say, for example, it's this one right here and they click on learn more. When they click on learn more and they come to your landing page, there's, there's a very high percentage of people who are not opting in and that's normal for everyone. So for me, for example, mm -hmm. if, I send, if I send 10 people to this landing page, most likely anywhere, anywhere from, from, from seven, anywhere from five to seven people are not going to opt in. Mm -hmm. So, so and, and let's even say worst case, let's say out of, out of 10 people that click learn more, 10 people come over here, eight of them are not going to opt in two of them will and that's good that's fine two of them opt in but what about the eight who didn't we need to track that because right. those eight people who landed here they obviously saw some interest they read your text they saw the image they saw the video they clicked learn more there was definitely some interest there and so if I'm bringing people here and there's eight people who did not opt in, I want my Facebook pixel tracking them. And then I also want to have set up a custom audience. So when I go and run okay. Facebook ad number two, I can retarget mm -hmm. those eight people. I can retarget the custom audience. I get you. Okay. So you're leaving so a maybe lot that's of- that's why my ads- no, no, no. That's not one. That's not, that, that's not a reason, but that's, that's a very, very, very required and important step. We have to have right. a pixel on this landing page. 
we have landing to page. we have to create okay. a custom audience of everyone who is landing here right and, th and right. then and then we have to retarget the people who land here which is going to happen from creating a custom audience so we're going to create a custom audience of everyone who lands here mm -hmm. but does not land on the thank you page right okay so so, so we're going to create an audience around people who land on the landing page we're also going to create a custom audience of everyone who lands on the thank you page because as i go and set up ad number two i'm going to retarget uh -huh. all the people who land on the landing page who did not land on the thank you page i get you okay okay, okay. now that's not yeah. that's not one that's not a reason why your ads are not working i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna answer that question but uh -huh. this what i'm showing you is simply required and it's mm -hmm. the most important i get you i get you i was going to say that this is this could be one of the reasons why my ad is not coming out of the learning stage it's yeah. always oh, learning oh, or yeah. learning limited oh yeah. oh yeah for sure for sure because facebook you have the ad you have learn more but facebook mm -hmm. doesn't really know you gave them the link you gave them the url right you gave them the link to the mm -hmm. to the to the landing page but because the pixel is not on it they're not tracking it mm -hmm. and they don't they don't even know it they they, they don't yeah. even know what to what to who to send because their pixel is not on it so the pixel has nice. to be on this landing okay. page for sure that's that's the most important so write okay. that down facebook pixel on the landing page create a custom audience of everyone who lands on the landing page who does not mm -hmm. land on the thank you page and in order to, to figure that out you, you create a custom audience of everyone who actually lands on the landing page got it got it so so i need to have a custom audience for everyone who lands here i need to have a custom audience who every of everyone who lands on the thank you page and then and then when i when i set up the custom audience of everyone who lands here I'm also going to mm -hmm. include people mm -hmm. that land here, but did not land on the thank you on the, on the thank you page. And I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you how to do that. But, um, okay. but that, that's the most important. That's number one. So see, as you can, as you, and here's what you want to do also, which I don't, you, you may already have this plugin, but you may not, um, you want to install this. It's, it's a free plugin. Um, it's, uh, Facebook, Facebook, pixel helper so if you haven't installed this just go ahead and google that facebook pixel helper mm -hmm. and it's this first one right here and all this is is a free plugin it sits right here at the top right can you see up here in the top right yes yeah okay so this little shaded gray box right now it's shaded gray so facebook mm -hmm. this little this little plugin it's letting me know that this page that I'm on is not tracking me. Now Google's tracking me, but Facebook, there's no pixel on it. So, so, so Facebook is not tracking anyone who lands here. Now this gray, it's gray. It, so when it's gray, there's no pixel on the page. And that's why when I look at other marketers right. or I look at affiliate marketers or network marketers, or I look at anyone building a business, I go to their website, or their landing page or whatever they whatever they have and i and and because i have the facebook pixel plugin installed mm -hmm. when i go to their page and it's gray mm -hmm. i know for a fact number 1 they're not running facebook ads or number 2 they don't have their pixel installed correctly right on and that's yes. the most important so if i go to your page mm -hmm. this is going to be gray now, if I go to my page, look at one of my landing pages, look what happens to the gray. So right now it's gray. Mm -hmm. and, and again, it's not just my landing page. If I go to any website on the internet, mm -hmm. if, if they have a Facebook pixel and they're tracking me, it's gonna light up. So look, right now it's gray. If I go to my website, mm -hmm. fbadsforbeginners.com, look what happens to the, to, the, to the little square. It turns blue. And now you see the number mm -hmm. three. So that tells right. the person, and it's public. So any, anybody can see that. 
but not everybody installs the Facebook pixel helper. You know what I mean? It's only a, it's a marketing, it's a marketing, you know, thing. So people like you and I that are actually marketing, the reason why I have it is I don't care about other people tracking me with their pixel. I don't care about that at all. The reason why I have it is just so I can test my pages. So whenever I, I create a new landing page and whenever I, I, I install my pixel, I get to go to my page and this is going to light up. And if I click on it, there's my pixel. All right. So yeah. it just allows me to look at it and say, okay, great. I, I, I installed my pixel correctly. Let's move on. Mm -hmm. right? right. So, so right. it gives me that information. And so that right there is my landing page. And so there's my pixel. Yeah. That's, that's the most important. That's number one. Now here's, here's, here's number two. Here's the reason why your ad is not working. Now, remember, I'm encouraging you, if you're looking to capture leads, which I'm assuming you are, you have a landing page, it's conversions. Right. It's conversions. Right. Now, 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 what you also, what is, what is really, really good as well is 99% of the time, it's conversions. But the 1% can be, can be really anything else. It could be engagement. It could be video views. That's really what it would be. It would be either engagement or video views, the 1%. I wouldn't really do messages. I wouldn't even do lead generation if you have your own landing page. Lead generation is only if you don't have your own landing page and you want to use Facebook's landing page. So okay. I don't do lead generation. So 99% so, so of the time, I'm running a conversions to a, to a landing page. But the 1%, I can either be running engagement or I can be running video views. Now, the only reason why I would do that, the 1%, the only reason why I would do video views or engagement is so I can create a custom audience. Everything is about custom audiences. I need you to understand that. Okay. Everything is about custom audiences. I need to create custom audiences of everything that's going on. So, so what I explained in the beginning is I need to create a custom audience of everyone who is landing here because I know for a fact Everyone who is landing here is not opting in. Mm -hmm. So I need to know that. I need to know that. And so, and so the reason why I need to know that is so I can have a custom audience and I can retarget them in the future. Because if they landed here, there was some interest. They did not opt in for whatever reason. Maybe they were busy. Maybe they were driving. Maybe they had to go to dinner, mm -hmm. whatever. But they landed here. Mm -hmm. And that's a good start. Mm -hmm. So if I can know who lands right. here and I can retarget them in the future with another ad, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe my next ad will, will entice them even more to get them back over here to finally opt in. So the custom audience of everyone landing here, but the 1%, the 1% is either engagement or video views. So what I do okay. with that is engagement is this over here. So as we come across this ad, Facebook is tracking everything. They know that I stopped. They know that I'm reading it. They know that I click like. They know that I share it. They know that I comment. All that is engagement. If I click on it and I go over to the page, look, I click on it. He's taking me to a landing page. Look at my pixel up here at the top right. It's gray. It's gray. gray, it's gray, it's gray. Now it turns blue, and now I see the number five. All right. So look, look, perfect example. Mm -hmm. I land mm -hmm. here. He's tracking me with his Facebook pixel. In fact, he's tracking me with two pixels. So mm -hmm. he's really not messing around. He's tracking me with multiple right. pixels. He knows what he's doing. Because here's the reality. Yeah. Here's the reality. I clicked on it. I came over here, but I did not opt in. Mm -hmm. Now, what he has is data. He knows, now he doesn't know me by name and phone number because that's private information. He doesn't have right. a lead, uh -huh. but he has the data. He knows mm -hmm. that these amount of people landed. Now, mm -hmm. if I scroll through my newsfeed tomorrow, if he's mm -hmm. a smart marketer, which I'll assume he is, when I'm mm -hmm. scrolling through my newsfeed tomorrow or when I'm scrolling through my newsfeed next week, I should see another ad from him mm -hmm. because he has my data. He knows I landed. 
right? So here's my point on the, on the 1%. Here's my point on the engagement and the video views. The reason why I would run that is so I can create a custom audience around everyone who engages. Or I can create a custom audience of everyone who watches my video. Now, it wasn't a lead capture. They didn't go to my landing page. They did not opt in, but that was data that I was willing to purchase. I spent $5 a day. I ran it for five days to capture the data. Now, why do I want the data? Because the data equals a warmer audience okay because if he can create an audience of the of those who click and come to his landing page that is a warm audience now what's going to happen is if i see his ad again i'm going to mm -hmm. be even more warmed up to him if i engage with his Correct. ad even more i'm going to be even more warmed up so maybe three weeks four weeks down the line because he keeps creating custom audiences of everyone who's engaging, he creates custom audiences of everyone who's landing on his page. He creates custom audiences of everyone who's watching his videos. Mm -hmm. Because he has this data, guess what? I'm going to keep seeing his ad, and eventually, he's going to get me to opt in. All right. Got it. Does that make sense? Yeah, so, it, does. So, it does. So here's the next step. Here's why the, 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 the conversions ad is not, is not converting for you mm -hmm. because you have to set up a custom conversion first. Now the custom audience, as I bring somebody to the landing page, they click on the opt in mm -hmm. and they, and they come over here and they opt in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then teach me Facebook ads. Then that person clicks the button and they come to the thank you page. This thank you page. Right. This thank you page needs to be a custom audience because we need to know everyone who lands here. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what we call a bridge page. That's why you don't see a Facebook pixel on this because this is not my thank you page. It's actually a bridge page. Okay. What I created is a double opt-in. So when someone opts in, when they opt in, I don't want to take them straight to my thank you page. I want, it, I want them to double opt-in. So what I created is a, is a bridge page. Thank you for subscribing. Just a few more steps to confirm your subscription. So what I, what I set up through Kartra is that lead will get an email and they have to confirm that subscription. When they confirm the subscription, then I send them to the thank you page. I see. Okay. Because I don't want a bunch of people just opting in for the hell of it. I want solid leads. And that's why I create a double opt-in on, on some of my pages, not all of my pages, but some of them. And in this one, I, I create a double opt-in because, because I rather have a hundred serious leads that actually took a second step and double opted in versus 500 people who are just spamming me. Got it. Got it. That, that, that's, yeah. the, that's the reason for a double opt-in, but not everyone, I mean, you don't have to do a double opt-in, but, but, um, I did it on this one because this one for me, for example, was getting a lot of people to opt in and a lot of them were spam. Mm -hmm. So I created a double opt-in. But, but my point is, is that let's say, for example, this is the thank you page. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number one, the pixel has to be on it. Number one. And then number two, we have to take this and create a custom audience. So the link, we take the link, we copy the link. We don't need to copy the HTTPS it's just the URL. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just the URL. Copy the link. Okay. I'm going to copy that. Okay. I'm going to come over here to Facebook. I'm going to click on um, events, man. Actually, I'm going to click on audiences and I'm okay. going to create the custom audience first. Okay. okay? I'm going to create the custom audience and here's, here's how I'm going to do it. I click on audiences and then I come over here and um, this is going to be, and, and so all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the blue button and your, yours, I mean, yours might look a little different, but it, it should be pretty similar, right? Does yours look like this or is it completely different? Uh, I have your, never come to audiences. I don't know. Okay. So, so in your, in your ads manager, does your ads manager look similar to mine? I will check on it right away. Cause I know, I know in, in different countries, it looks a little different.
so we went to audiences okay uh, yes so if yours looks like mine then then you'll um yeah it says create a custom audience create a look like audience and create a saved audience okay perfect so, so there are three options on that okay perfect so come back to my screen can you see my screen yeah i can see your screen yeah okay so what i did is i i create i i copied the url from the thank you page okay then i come over here to audiences i click on create audience i click i click on custom audience not look alike not saved i need custom audience i click on that one okay and then what i'm going to do is it's going to be website now that's why i showed you the one percent 99 percent of the time it's conversion one percent could be either engagement or video or video views and the reason for it is so i can then come in here and create a custom audience around all those who watch the video okay. or or I can create a custom audience of every of anyone who engaged in any post or 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 maybe engaged in my Facebook page. So so it's all about creating the custom audience. And in this case, I'm creating the audience around my website, whether it's the thank you page, whether it's the landing page, whether it's the sales funnel, whatever, it's the website. So 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 now I, right. I click on website. Now I'm right here. So I'm going to create a custom audience. I'm going to click this drop down and it's going to be people who visited specific web pages. And all I'm going to do is paste in my URL. So now I'm creating a custom audience and I'm going to, I'm going to name the audience. This is going to be leads leads or let's, let's, let's name it. Let's name it exactly what it is. Um, leads leads from FB ads for beginners. So this is my land. This is so, so this is my funnel, right? They go to the landing page, they opt in, they go to the thank you page. Whoever lands on this thank you page is a lead. So I'm telling that to Facebook. Okay. And, and I'm going to, I'm going to name it. So leads from FB ads for beginners. And so let me just, so I don't get confused. I'll just put test and then I create audience. Okay. That's number one. Okay. That right there yeah. is number one. That's done. So I, so now we have an audience and then also I want an audience of everyone who lands on the landing page. So I'm okay. going to copy that. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to do it again, create okay. audience, custom audience, and I'm going to go website. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go people who visited a specific page now over here in the past 30 days i can go up as high as 180. that's the max okay. Okay. so facebook can track back the the last 180 days of everyone who landed on this specific url right so that right there and i'm going to call this one um um fb ads for beginners so David, this happens only when uh, the pixel lights up on the landing page. Yo, yeah, no, no, this is a custom audience. The okay. pixel needs to be installed on the landing page as well. And that's what, that's, what's going to make the, the little square up here light up. Okay. But, but, it, but, but it has nothing to do with the custom audience that that's okay. going to light up because your pixel is installed. So that's step one. Step okay. one is the pixel install the pixel. Step one, step two is the custom audiences. Right. Okay. And then, and then step three, and then that's all I got for you because that's, that's the only thing you're missing. Step three is then the custom conversion, okay. which, which we'll get to. Okay. So this right here is a custom audience of everyone who lands on the page FB ads for beginners. And I'll just name it landing landing. Uh, we'll go landing page views because that's all it is. Here's what I'm going to do. So here's, so pay attention. This is, this is very, very important right here. And I'm recording this. So you'll see this recording come out on YouTube, but here's what's so, so important. Mm -hmm. Now, these are going to be people who land on the land on the landing page. But okay. what, but what we're going to create is everyone lands here. Even the people who opt in, mm -hmm. they, everyone lands here. 
-hmm. But what I'm going to set up in my custom audience is I'm also going to tell Facebook, hey, this specific audience are people who only land here mm -hmm. and have not landed over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so here's what I'm going to do. So this is how we set it up. This is FB ads for beginners landing page views mm -hmm. only. And then I'm going to hit create audio. Actually, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do also. And then I'm going to exclude. So right here, you mm -hmm. see exclude people. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm going to exclude. Mm -hmm. I'm going to exclude. So if I, if I come right here to exclude, now we're in the exclude. I'm going to exclude people who landed on the thank you page. Ah, okay. So now I'm going to grab that URL again. I'm going to mm -hmm. copy that. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to paste it in. Mm -hmm. So now what do we have? We have a custom audience of everyone who lands here, but hasn't landed here. Right. Those okay. are people. Those are the eight out of 10. Uh -huh. You got, you got 10 people landing on your learn more. You got 10 people clicking on learn more, mm -hmm. but eight of them are not opting in. Right. This is yes. how we track them. Right. Yeah. So, so, so we have the link for the, for the landing page. Mm -hmm. We, we titled it landing page views only because yeah. we exclude the thank you page URL. Right. So now we create right. audience. We create yeah. audience. We just mm -hmm. click done. Don't worry about a lookalike audience. You don't need that right now. Uh -huh. this is the most important. So now we have two different audiences. Right. So here's what I can do now. Mm -hmm. As I go back to the ads manager mm -hmm. and now as I go, go and set up my next ad, mm -hmm. here's what I can do. So if I come to the ads manager, let's click on, um, let's go to ads manager and let's click on the green button and we'll just go in and, and, and set up the next ad and here's how you would do it. So we come here, we click on the green button, we click on create. Mm -hmm. And let's say, for example, I'm running, let's say I'm running a conversions ad. <laughs> so, so I, I, um, yeah, let's just say we're running a conversions ad. So mm -hmm. I'll give you that example. Mm -hmm. We come over here, we click conversions. Yep. And then we scroll down. And then what I would do is I would just shade this to great campaign okay. budget optimization create a b test you don't need to worry about that right now okay click on the blue button now here's where the magic happens so as i'm in the second step the ad set optimization for ad delivery there's conversions there's website so now here's what i'm going to do if i scroll down and now i come down to audiences here's where i'm going to include my custom audience so now this is going to be, I, I, I click, I click inside the, the box. I go to custom audience and now see now I'm in a different, actually, let me go back to, the, I'm in a different ad account, but, but you would see it right here. So if I click on custom audience, actually, you know what, let me show you the real one. Cause let me go back. I think it was in this account that I created it in that way you can really, really see it. Let's go conversions. I think I created it in this one. Created the custom audiences in this one. Let me see. Okay, so I click over here, click continue, and then we come down to the audiences. And let me see if it's in this ad account. So here's audiences. And we want to look at um Okay, here we go. So scroll down audiences mm -hmm. custom audiences i click i hover over custom audiences mm -hmm. actually it wasn't this account I, I i forgot what account i created it in actually was it in fbs for beginners but but either way it would be the same thing right there you click and you hover over custom audiences and you would see mm -hmm. that custom audience that you just set up i think it might have been in it has to be in this let me see if it's in this one
Okay, so audiences, click in there. Mm -hmm. And then let's see if it's in this ad account. Custom audiences, mm -hmm. there it is there. Okay, so now what I can do is I'm going to target mm -hmm. this audience. I want to target the people who landed on my page and mm -hmm. viewed it only because those are people that are warm. Those are people that know of me. There was some interest there, but they haven't opted in yet. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. Now, here's what I also want to do. I want to target them mm -hmm. for sure. And I want to exclude, I want to exclude my custom audience of leads. I got it. Okay. Because I don't want to keep yeah. running ads to the people who already opted in. Already, already opted in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah. Okay. That's the importance of custom audiences. Now here's the last one. Here's why your conversion ads have not been working. Mm -hmm. Now, as we come in here to the, we click on the three lines and we go to events manager. Okay. Here's the last step. Yeah. You have your landing page mm -hmm. and you have your thank you page. Okay. Mm -hmm. The, the, the custom conversion is set up around the thank you page. Okay. So just like we did for the, um, for the, for the custom audience, we, we took the URL and we created a custom audience on the thank you page. We're going to take the URL, everything after the forward slash. Okay. okay. You don't need the HTTPS. You don't need the forward slash. It's mm -hmm. everything after that. Uh -huh. Okay. We're going to copy that. And we did it for the custom audience, but we're going to also do it for custom conversions. Okay. And you can always type that word in up, up here at the top, like custom conversions, pixel, custom audience. If you cannot find it in the drop down and there's too much going on, you can always search it up here and you'll find it. Okay. So right here, it's custom conversions. Yeah. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to come over here and create custom conversion. Got it. Okay. This is the most important. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm going to paste in that URL mm -hmm. and I'm going to give it a name. This is going to be FB ads, FB ads for beginners mm -hmm. leads. Right. Okay. Because this is, this is, um, the thank you page. So, so, so what I'm telling Facebook is I need people and let's just name this FB ads for beginners. Thank you. Let's just name it. Thank you page. Okay. So remember that FB ads for beginners. Thank you page. And then if you're not selling a, an actual product, you don't need to put in a, a price a value. You right. can, if you want, if you're selling a physical product or, or you're selling any kind of product, if it's, if it's $10, $20, $100, that's where that value would go. But if you're not selling anything and we're only looking to capture leads, mm -hmm. even if you are selling something, but if you're not selling something through this actual ad, you know what I mean? We're only capturing leads. So mm -hmm. you can leave that part blank. So okay. here's what we did. Custom conversion. Now we click create mm -hmm. and here's what we do next. So this, we click on done. Now here's what we're going to do. Now we have that custom conversion right down here. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now go to the actual setup. So I'm going to come over here and also make sure your Facebook pixel is on that. Thank you page, which it is. That's the most yes. important. Facebook mm -hmm. needs to have that pixel on there first. And that's why this right here is showing no activity mm -hmm. because the pixel, even though I set up the custom conversion, the pixel is not tracking it because in this case, for this example, I don't have a pixel on this page. So right here, we're going to see no activity, but it should be lit up green and it should be ready to go because your pixel is on there first. Okay. okay. Pixel goes on there first. Number two, custom audience. Number three, custom conversion. So now as I come over here and set up my next conversions ad, this is what I'm going to do with Facebook. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on the green button and I'm going to go to conversions. 
because what they conversions add, and here's the difference between a traffic ad and a conversions ad. Here's the difference. With traffic, you're, you're telling Facebook, get people to my landing page. I'm looking for mm -hmm. traffic. Get people here. That's traffic. With conversions, yeah. because I gave Facebook the URL, not only for a custom audience, but because also I gave Facebook the URL for my quote unquote custom conversions. Now I'm telling mm -hmm. Facebook, no, I do not just want traffic to my landing page. I want conversions to my thank you page. Mm -hmm. There's a difference there. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So now I come over here. I set up conversions. I click on conversions. Mm -hmm. I scroll down and I click on the blue button. Make sure both of those are shaded gray. I click mm -hmm. on the blue button. Now this is where it really happens. I can come over here and I can include or I can exclude any custom audiences. And what I would for sure do on every ad from this day forward is make sure that you exclude your custom audience of people who land here because those are your leads. Right. If you opt yeah. in and they come to the thank you page. Every ad from this point on, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you exclude that pay, that audience uh -huh. from any from seeing any future ads. Right. Because yes. we don't we don't want to show them ads. And it was this one right here. It was leads from FBS ads for beginners. So so on this one, if this is ad number three, ad number four. I'm going to make sure that they don't see my ads no more because they've already opted in. They don't need to keep seeing my ads. Right. right? So, yeah. so here's, here's the custom conversion. As you come to this page, a lot of times you'll see this part red. Click in there. We scroll down. We scroll down. And there goes our custom conversion. FB ads for beginners. Thank you, page. I'm going to click on that. Right. And now I'm ready to go. Uh -huh. So now I just continue and set up the ad however I want. And now I'm telling Facebook, hey, I don't want people just to engage in my post. I do not want mm -hmm. traffic to just come to my landing page. I want conversions. I am looking for people to get to my thank you page. Right. Yeah. That right there is the answer to your okay. to your. I, I got it. I got it. <laughs> that makes sense? It, it makes a lot of sense now. Yes. Yes. Perfect. So what else yeah. you got for me? So uh, uh, now, would you be able to have a look at my Facebook page? Maybe on the next call, if you can do it with me one more time. Yes. You know what? I have, I have 10 minutes right now. So if you want to, do you want to show it to me right now? Yeah, sure. sure. Yeah, go ahead, and, go ahead and share screen. Uh, share screen. Where do I have it? Start video? No, share screen. Yeah, okay. share screen. Uh, host disabled participant sh and screen sharing. Uh, yeah. Host. It says it's disabled screen sharing. Uh, Actually, you know what? Let me give me one sec. Let me check the settings. Okay, try now. Yeah. Okay. Can you see my screen? Um, not yet. No, I cannot. Can you know? Um, no. Did you click on share screen at the bottom, the yeah, green? Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, yeah. Select a window or application uh, that you want to share. Uh, Facebook. Okay. I think you can see it now. It says screen two. Share. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So. Um,
this is my page. Perfect. Right. And so, uh... see, so look, even, even on your video, on your videos, mm -hmm. what I would do with those videos is mm -hmm. run video views. Okay. For maybe, maybe five days. Okay. Maybe, and it doesn't have to be a lot of money. Like maybe you do $3 a day. Okay. And, and do it for five days, maybe do it six, seven days, whatever, whatever budget you want, but you don't have to put a lot, okay. but, the, but the whole purpose of that, that's the 1%. Mm -hmm. So 1% of the time I'm running video view ads mm -hmm. so I can capture the audience so I can create a custom audience around those who watch it. Right. And then next ad, I'm going to run conversions and I'm going to retarget everyone in that custom audience, everyone who watched the video. Okay. So just like we set up a custom audience for the website, the URL, mm -hmm. you would set up a custom audience under video. Okay. I got it. So I'm just going to create a new video today. You know, this was not kind of giving me good results. So I'm just going to create a new one today and then I will start right from the scratch. So I just wanted to show you uh, uh, my uh, uh, landing page, how it goes. Okay, perfect. You can click learn more on your um, on your post. Click more, learn more. Okay. Visit our page. Yeah. Okay, so that was was that a lead generation ad? That was a lead generation ad. Okay, yes. so that that's the Facebook form. So, do you have a, a separate landing page? I do have a separate landing page. Yeah. And also, is this, is this the landing page? Are you able to put a pixel on this landing page or is this the landing page your company gives you? This is just a landing page that my company gives me, but I think I will contact them today and see if they can have a pixel on here. So see, there's no pixel here, right? But if I enter my name here, it's going to take me to the thank you page and that will have a green pixel on it. Okay, I can't, I can't see it anymore. Oh, you can? No. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So here's, here's what I would do because mm -hmm. a lot of the times, cause I'm very, I'm very familiar with direct sales and network marketing. Like I've, I've been around it forever. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the times the websites that the company gives us, mm -hmm. we cannot alter. Mm -hmm. We cannot edit. We right. cannot add our pixel. So if that's the case with your company, which I'm pretty sure it is, if you email them and say, hey, I got these pixels, can you add them to my pages? I don't think they are. Okay. Um, that's number one. Now you could try, but, but I don't think they are. I, I, I don't think they're going to add your pixel. I think if anything, they have their pixel. Okay. Because this is their web page. Right. So what I would easily do, uh -huh. but again, you would have to have another expense. But mm -hmm. if, 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 it was, if it's really that important and you – want to start capturing leads and you want to start running Facebook ads, which is 1000% how I would be, be building a network marketing business today. If I was back in network mm -hmm. marketing, 1000% I'd be running Facebook ads. I'd be running right. it to a landing page, bottom mm -hmm. line. I wouldn't even care to talk to anybody that I knew. Mm -hmm. Knowing what I know today with online marketing and Facebook advertising, I would for sure be running Facebook ads to a landing page. But that landing page is not the company's. The landing page is mine. Okay. And, and, and that's most important because I need to be able to control that page. I need to be able to add my pixel to that page. I'm the right. one running Facebook ads, not right. them. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So Got this it. page yeah. can easily, easily be duplicated. Like okay. I, could, I could duplicate that page in literally three minutes with landing page software. Okay. So, so that's what I would do. Like I would for sure mm -hmm. duplicate that. And, and, and as a person opts in, Mm -hmm. I'm sure they receive emails that follow, right? Mm -hmm. All those emails that the company probably already has set up for you. Like if I go to your page right now and I opt in, am I going to receive emails? You're going to receive emails. Yes. Lots that the of company, them. that the company has set up, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. I would grab all those emails mm -hmm. and put them into your own system. So okay. for example, with me, I use Kartra. 
So mm -hmm. I would have Karcher for my landing page. I would have Karcher for my email automation, mm -hmm. but the company, they already have all these emails. So I would simply copy every email that the company sends out and I'd paste it into my own email autoresponder mm -hmm. and, 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 and it can go out that way. And the right. only reason for it, the only reason for it, the absolute number one only reason why I would need to do that uh -huh. is so I can control the pixel on these pages. Got That's it. the only reason. So if I have to spend a hundred bucks a month for landing page software, I'm going to have to do that. Okay. So that's something you're going to have to consider for sure, because I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet they're not going to allow you to add your pixel. I will work with them today. I'm going to call them today. Let's see what response they give me. And then I will contact you. Perfect. Maybe, Sounds maybe good. we'll get, maybe we'll get it going then from you then. Yes, for sure. For sure. I have, I mean, in any of my, my YouTube videos, there's my link in the description profit with Kartra dot online. And that's the landing page software that I use. There's a 14 day trial. So you can just try it out for 14 days. Um, but that's the software that I use for, for landing pages and for my email automation. But, but it's only, I tell people all the time, landing page software, yes, it's $99 a month. So it's not exactly cheap, but it's only for people who are running Facebook ads or Instagram ads or YouTube ads. It, landing page software, in my opinion, it's only for people who are running paid traffic. Okay. If you're not running paid traffic, you don't need landing pages. Okay. But if you are going to run paid traffic, which I highly encourage you to do to build your business, right? you need, yeah. you need your own landing page. Okay. And, and, and something like this, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, I could, I could help you build that in two minutes. Okay. No worries. Let me contact them today. Perfect. I'm going to send them an email or call them today. As soon as I hear from them, you know, I'm sure the answer is going to be no. So, but then we'll get it going from you. Yes. Sounds good. Message okay. me, message me. And then here's what you can do. If the answer is no, uh -huh. go to any of my videos, click uh -huh. on the link profit with online, uh -huh. and just set up a 14 day trial. You don't need to commit to it right now. Just okay. set up a 14 day trial uh -huh. and then message me. And then uh our next call We'll be going over the, the landing pages and I can help you duplicate this in one minute. Sure. Sure. We'll do that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so Raman. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank Reach you. out to me soon. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.